सामान है ना वो सब निकाल के उस लो, उन लोगों ने सब घर घर सब कुछ जला दिया होम तो आप कौन से क्लास में पढ़ते हैं एट में एट में पहले कहाँ पढ़ते थे पहले मोरे में क्लास एट पढ़ता था और अभी तो यहाँ नूपुर महिको में क्लास एट पढ़ रहे हैं तो अपना घर अपना स्कूल मिस करते हैं पुराना वाला हाँ मिस करता है और मुझे तो कभी भी रोना आता है रोना आ जाता है हम क्यों याद करते हैं वहाँ जो लाइफ थी और अब यहाँ रिलीफ कैंप में जितने बच्चे हैं हर कोई सोचता होगा अपने घर जाने को हाँ सोचता है ना अच्छा वहाँ जो मोरे में आपका स्कूल था उसमें तो मैं तेई भी थे कुकी भी पढ़ते थे वो सब दोस्त होते थे पहले हाँ होता है उनसे बात होती है फोन पे या वो लोग फोन करता है नहीं हम आ, हम हमारे पास उनका फोन नंबर नहीं है ना तो बात नहीं करता लेकिन मिस करता है लेकिन मिस करता है यहाँ जब स्कूल जाते हैं तो कितना फर्क मिलता है पहले घर से निकलना घर से जाना पुराने दोस्त नए दोस्त बन गए यहाँ हाँ नए नए दोस्त तो बन गए लेकिन उतना क्लोज नहीं है कितना फर्क आया जिंदगी में पिछले एक साल में बहुत ज्यादा फर्क आया है वहाँ तो कैसे बोल बोल खेलने पर भी ना स्वेत आता है तो क्या बोलते यहाँ पसीना आता था वहाँ आता था वहाँ आता था लेकिन यहाँ पे पसीना नहीं निकलता और काला हो गया कोई बात नहीं गर्मी ज्यादा है ना अच्छा घर वाले मम्मी पापा से जब बातचीत होती है आपको पता है आपका घर वहाँ भी कैसा है किस हालत में है हाँ पता है वो सब जला दिया और हमारा सामान है ना वो सब निकाल के उस लो, उन लोगों ने सब घर घर सब कुछ जला दिया और तोड़ दिया मन करता है घर जाने को हाँ मन तो करता है लेकिन घर कहाँ होगा घर तो नहीं है सब जल गया The drinking water is the first and very essential thing for any individual. But in a state like Manipur, for these people who are living in a relief camp, these Hindu maithes may have supply for drinking water from the open market. But the, this is the water. This is the arrangement that they have made for their survival. For cooking food, this is the water that they use. The supplied by tankers restoring in a pond made and covered through a trampoline. which is totally bacteria and infectious but these water the people are forced to use for their cooking process this is the example and the evidence of a life that these hindu maithai are living in the relief camps of manipur baby you are helping them to prepare for exams yes mm. yeah uh, they are going to finish their exam tomorrow mm. and as we have seen we doesn't have much plus to for them to study so mm. even though the room is small we just take them here and we prepare it like this you were teacher in churashanpur as well yes i was a teacher there and even now here as uh, to meet my daily needs uh, i used to work in a school again mm -hmm. so just to meet my needs only because staying here to we as a human we have daily needs and daily requirements so just to meet that how difficult the life has been after one year of the violence that break, broke out in manipur we have seen totally we have seen last year only the devastation still people like you live in a relief camp yeah uh, it has been more than a year about this riot but we doesn't see any conclusion or any clue about it and we as a victim saying in this camp we are helpless here and so we are intent or we are just uh, left to adjust the surrounding or the situation here rather than that we doesn't have any option rather than accepting the situation to which happening here in around you miss your home yeah definitely yeah who wouldn't miss and i also heard that uh my home as we all heard that uh, all the maitai's possession which are dear in churchanpur are all level into ground and my home is also include, included so even if we go back where are we to live because it has been leveled into ground so 
That is the thing that saddens us. Does this uncertainty often bother you, concern you? What will be the future of the Maitais who are living in relief camps? Yeah. Even though, even uh, even the students here studying, they also have their parents. They also have their home. And if I am to talk about the education, uh, the students, when they the education pattern of there and here, as we are brought up there, we have some difficulties in adjusting here because the education system is slight. Uh, there is slight change in it. Uh, I would say about the the Manipuri Mayek. We have Manipuri Mayek, which the students are now preparing. Mm. Mm. As yes, we are uh, mingle up with the traps, okay. so we doesn't use much about these uh, uh, letters or the language. Yeah, we happen to study, but we start from class three. Mm -hmm. But here, the class three standard students, they are very fluent with the Mayek or with the letters or with that language, uh, the letters I would say. So, and as they come from a different place. When they study here or when they happen to admit here in a school, they really have difficulties in uh, adjusting with the uh, what friends, the new friends in that school, in the new school. And, so, and also even in the studies also. Do they often ask you, ma'am, will be able to go back home? Do they discuss in the classroom often? Before they use, but now since it's been a long time now we all understand it and so we doesn't talk much about the riot which which we have experienced a year ago so we doesn't much talk because we uh, even they experience and even i experience sometimes we talk about the food we eat sometimes we talk about uh, how we spent when we were there um, in Churchanpur. Rather than that, we doesn't talk much because they experience, I experience same. Imphal has restored its normalcy. Just a year ago, right after ethnic violence broke out between Kukis and the Meitei, clearly most of these areas in Manipur were totally left deserted. When I walked around the streets just a year ago, because of the stress and the tension and the escalations, mostly people chose to stay indoors. The Meiteis living in the Kuki areas left their houses. The cookies living in Mete areas left their places and went back. What we see after one year, the markets which were wearing a deserted look are yet again back to normalcy. The life is restoring but there is a growing concern. The situation could be better in Imphal. The traffic may back on road. The people may have started going back to their work, colleges, institutions. But the question remains tense about the conflict area where you have the Maitais and cooking living together over the decade or all of a sudden one trigger moment and now there is a big enmity between these two communities. However, the satisfying picture what I see in Pali is that all these places are yet again back to their normalcy.